The head impact analysis has been developed especially for the requirements of the automobile industry. It can be used to detect sharp edges and corners on a 3D model that may cause injuries. A sphere simulating a human head with a radius to be defined is used as a test object. The region of the selected surface cluster where the sphere is rolled along will be checked for curvature radii below a certain value. Critical zones are marked in red. Afterwards, the detected areas should be modeled until they meet the required safety standards. Now this is obviously not a replacement for Kava but a tool to interactively aid the user during the surface development phase. It will certainly reduce downstream changes that would otherwise be overlooked. So in this example, we enter our criteria that will flag any radius 5 mm or smaller using a 100 mm radius sphere. There are other criteria that can be specified, such as sharp edges, separation surfaces, and individual zones where secondary values can be entered. Now the analysis completes and shows blue where the sphere does not touch, green is where the sphere makes contact and is okay, and red areas where the sphere contacts are not okay as the radius is smaller than the specified criteria. Next we make a value change from a 5 mm to a 10 mm minimum radius check. And after running the analysis again, you can see that more areas fall into the red zone now let's add the steering wheel and column and reanalyze the entire area. It's important to note that whenever possible, add as much data as you can prior to analyzing it. So you can see the new results. Now let's compare to the prior analysis without the wheel. The new analysis clearly shows where the sphere makes no contact, so it may be possible to get away with smaller radii in those regions. This analysis is available in Katia V5 Isom Shape Design Expert and in the 3D Experience Isom Shape Morphing app. Thanks a lot.